Welcome back to World of Immersion. Today we are here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom for the first time in a few years. Uh, yeah, we're gonna check in on the park, see how it's going. Definitely ride Joker a few times. Check out their new coaster as well. But yeah, we're gonna see how, how it's going over here. We're used to Magic Mountain, so it's gonna be interesting to see how a different Six Flags park is being run with the new Six Flags management right now. But yeah, stay tuned. Still currently the only free spin that I've been on. It's actually not too bad though, I like it. It's kind of a fun ride. Definitely very smooth. Here we have Medusa, one of the best flawless coasters that we've been on. And obviously the best coaster in the park over there with Joker. Overall, just super excited to be back though. It's been definitely a few years since we've been here. And yeah, the only other Six Flags park we've been to recently is Magic Mountain. So it's nice to be at a different park again. There's like nobody here, it looks super empty. But we also are here like 30 minutes before it opened, so that's probably why. And we're in the park 30 minutes before opening. I don't know if any rides are open though, so. We'll have to so see about that. Some bad man testing earlier. I'm not sure if it'll be open now. Yeah, probably the only ride that'll be open today. <laughs> All right, first up, we're gonna do the Joker. Hopefully, it's open. Never mind. First up is Superman because Joker's closed. Hopefully, it opens later. It looks like they have crews over there, so maybe it'll open. I'm assuming this ride's open. Uh, they haven't really. They didn't close it off, but it doesn't look like there's anybody over here. But a bunch of people hopping in line, so hopefully it is. Never mind, it doesn't open for another hour. You know, it's really nice that they have a, a sign out there or a staff person, you know, telling you that it's not open for another hour. We just walked into the station and there was like one guy like running checks or something on the ride. He's like, yo, how'd you guys get in? Like the ride's not supposed to be open. I guess we're doing Batman first. All right, this one looks like it's probably open. Let's hope so. They said opening in five minutes. Hopefully that's true. So we'll see. It's still closed 20 minutes later. Just gonna wait, I guess, until something opens. Everything's closed right now. So in true Six Flags fashion, Batman took 30 minutes to open, 30 minutes after the park opened for it to finally open, and still nothing else in this area is open. Joker's doesn't, hasn't even tested yet, and Superman is still closed. So we're gonna go see what else is actually open in the park, but not a great start to the day so far. Batman was fun though, that was a good ride. Free spins are pretty fun, pretty underrated actually. <laughs> that ride's definitely not open, but the one behind it, Joker, is also not open and looks like it probably won't open for a while. The crew at the front of the ride said it probably, it definitely will not open for at least a few more hours. Which is great, best ride in the park will not open for a few more hours. All right, we're gonna check Medusa first. Hopefully it's open, but I don't see it running, so probably not. Oh, we found an open coaster. Great, the, the kitty coaster's open. Nothing else though. Medusa is open. There's people on there. Let's go. We found a coaster that's open. All right, here we go. Second best coaster in the park. Here we go. Medusa. What's up? Exit to your right, and your right only. And then go check out some other outside call and board the ring. And 
just finished up Medusa, one of the only rides open here, but really fun one. That's definitely the best flow coaster I've ever been on. It's a really, really fun flow coaster. That drop feels like a, like a mini hyper almost. It's a straight drop and then inversions are really good. Really smooth too. Great coaster. Uh, another closed ride. Not that I'm complaining that it's closed, but just, just pointing it out. Closed restaurant, closed ride, closed ride, closed games, another closed restaurant. It's like everything's closed here, huh? That's where we're going. New coaster, Sidewinder Safari, I believe. That's the first restaurant I've seen that's open. The park back here is just deserted. There's nobody back here. There's also nothing back here. Overall, I just feel like nothing's really open in the park. It's kind of, it's not dead because there's a lot of people here, but it just feels like nothing's open. You know, there's two coasters so far that we've seen that have been open. Everything else is either not open for the day or not open yet. Another closed ride. I've never seen that ride open, actually. The River Rapids here. I think Boomerang might be open. Yeah, I know. They have, <laughs> that's a good question. They do have one. It's never open. Here we go. Scrambler's open. Great. There's the new coaster. I can't tell if it's open or not. Uh, Boomerang is not open either, so... Another not open coaster. And it looks like it's not open, unfortunately. Which sucks. Surprisingly, the area looks pretty good. It's a decently looking land. They got actual snakes here. Oh, never mind. Those aren't real. I thought they did. Rhino and rattlesnake. It's non existent. Oh, no, it's right there. Hard to see is another real scene. I will say it looks like they did a pretty good job with the queue. It looks pretty good. Now on the ride itself, there's not much, but at least the, the theming here is not that bad. It looks nice. Only question is if they, they keep it looking nice. There's just so many rides just abandoned back here. The park just is like deserted. It's really, really weird. Like the front of the park, super well kept. And as you get back here, there's nobody back here, and half the rides are, are closed or abandoned or just there's nothing back here it's really weird it feels like a completely different park and they got giraffes oh and some lions that's really cool it is cool that they have animals here I can't, is that a ride? Oh, that's a, another abandoned ride. That one looks even worse condition. Wow. It's uh, like a part and just kind of in pieces. Wow, that's cool. This park would be like so much better if it was, I mean, bought by another company because they just have so much potential. You know, this park is very, it's a very pretty park. They have this gorgeous lake view right here. This view of the river all along here. They could do like, incredible coasters along the water, but they just don't. They just don't really take good care of the park. And the rides they do have are kind of just all crammed together in one spot. And it's just, it, it looks abandoned, you know? Like, there's, there's not much here, but it could be so much better. Because this is, this is seriously one of the best views at any theme park. They have this incredible river right here. That they just don't take advantage of, you know? It'd be so cool if they did. Uh, and they got whatever this is. Bunch of Fright Fest props just kind of on the ground here. Looks great. I guess they're just storing the old abandoned six, the old abandoned Fright Fest props right here. That's great. Just like kind of looks like trash everywhere. I bet this area looks really cool at night. It's pretty cool. And now this area of the park just feels abandoned. There's nobody back here at all. Oh, but there's a restaurant. If only we had this still at Magic Mountain. It doesn't even look like it's open here though. They got fake snow. Very cool. This area is cool looking. It looks pretty nice actually. 
But we're back over here to check in on Joker and Superman, maybe see if they're open. And it looks like Batman has now closed. So every single coaster in this area of the park is closed, I believe. It looks like Joker might be open, or at least they're testing it, so pretty close to being open. Fingers crossed, we'll see. All right, we're gonna hop in this crazy line, hoping it opens soon. Superman's not looking too good. Looks a little burnt. It's open, but we got a really long wait, so we'll see how long this takes. Only waited about 20 minutes and we're about to get on. Not too bad. Just finished up Joker. Definitely the best right here. That ride's really fun. We only waited about 20, 30 minutes, which wasn't that bad. So yeah, we're gonna go check and see if any of the other rides are open now. It's been a little while. Superman is still closed, unfortunately, which does suck. But we'll see what else is open. We got our Six Flags food here. Views cool though. View food's probably not. Just finished our okay meal. Six Flags, we're gonna go check and see if the coaster's open, the, the new coaster. Probably won't be though. Here's the non-existent River Rapids ride. Definitely looks like it's open, right? Yeah, drained. Boomerang's open, but we will definitely not be doing that. that is, this is one of the worst boomerangs I think I've been on. It's pretty bad, right? Looks like it's testing, which means maybe it's about to open, hopefully. We'll see. Alright, it's open. It's a pretty cool sign actually for the ride. Just finished up the brand new ride, Sidewinder Safari. It's pretty fun. We got a lot of spinning because we were both on the same side and it was just the two of us on the car. But overall, just really impressive like the theming on this ride. And like, it just looks really nice. It looks like almost like a Cedar Fair ride. But yeah, super impressive. The ride was pretty fun. It's a great new addition to the park. I wish they would keep doing it more additions like this. Don't ask why, but we're doing this monstrosity, awful coaster. Never ride this, but we're doing it because it's pretty incredible. I don't even know. No, Murray. <laughs> oh my gosh, I knew that was you guys. I can see your light like shaking. Oh god. <laughs> Why are we doing this? So this is the doing? worst ghost show in the world. But we're doing it, I guess. Never mind, we made the right decision of going and doing Medusa instead because we don't have very much time left and it was a pretty long line. Thankfully, we're not doing that ride today. One of the worst coasters on the planet, seriously. It's pretty good as No. All right, we just finished up Medusa for our second time, but I think it's time for us to head out. We've done pretty much everything we wanted to do here. Superman never opened, but that's all right. But yeah, overall, we had a good day here. That's gonna do it for our video today here from Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Overall, we had a pretty good time. It was annoying that most of the rides didn't open until like an hour or two after the park opened because we were only really here for about four hours. But like I said, overall, really, really fun time today. We're gonna have a full review up on the channel of Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, as well as some individual re reviews for some of the coasters here. So be sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos when they come out. Thank you so much for watching World of Immersion today and we'll catch you in the next video.